Hey buddy, how you doing? You doing okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna venture this. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this out there, and maybe this isn't true for all of you, but I think for most of you, your life is going better than the life of the average G4 TV executive who is currently watching a multi-million dollar investment from the Comcast Corporation go up in flames. Now, for those of you who have been following this story along with us, it obviously started with this beautiful lady here, this Frosk Kurin, who uh, gave us one of the greatest pieces of television of all time. Let's find it real quick, and while I find it, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. You know that's where the good stuff is. Frosk, I probably shouldn't have typed, oh, I guess if you look for Frost Grant, it comes up. 217,000 views, and this is how the channel is now defined. The channel is now defined by this woman ranting about sexism and gaming, which we've discussed on this channel. I've been very fair, and I've said, yes, sexism and gaming is a real problem, and no, this is not the reason I turned to G4. If I want to talk about this, I'll go watch, I don't know. Well, first of all, I don't want to watch it at all, but I'd rather watch like a professional setting, a lecture hall, talking about, you know, ways to elevate, I don't know, female creators, female gamers, than watch a bunch of people clap and, and spout empty platitudes. You go, girl. You get them. Watch this clapping here. Get them. Get them, bro. Sexism is bad. Wow. You blew it. Oh, my God. One of the cringiest moments of television ever. Now, we have watched his X-Play. Uh, well, first, there's a lot going on. This used to be G4. It still is technically G4, but they are now rebranding it to X-Play. This is all very complicated, and we'll get into it. But we do have to look at the numbers that we got here. Now, at before that video launched, they had, as far as I could tell, 498,000 followers. Now, that video dropped January 12th, two months ago. And in two months... They have gone from 498,000 subscribers to 490,000. Now, maybe you're saying, okay, well, that's not a big deal. Sure, they lost 8,000 followers. It's not like the channel, uh, you know, is bleeding to death. But let's be clear. This is a television network that is trying to get off the ground. This is their period of growth. This is the period that they are spending all of their money attracting new talent, putting out new shows, pumping out content, because they need to grow this thing as fast as possible to make it a valuable business enterprise the idea that it is losing any subscribers uh is is a huge problem for them let's be clear my main channel which i'm barely uploading videos to i've been focusing on my secondary channel i don't know if you've noticed that uh i uploaded maybe one two videos in the past month and i still got two thousand new subscribers meanwhile they've been pumping content out like crazy can we go to their can we go to their channel real quick they're putting out multiple videos in the month. Nobody is subscribing to this nonsense. Look, they got a daily video. And no, and they look, 2,000 views on a new Pokemon game, 6,000 views on Elden Ring. Elden Ring is the hottest topic in video games right now. How do you put out any video about Elden Ring and not get 20, 30, 40,000 views, 2,000 views about the new Street Fighter? They're falling apart. This organization's in trouble. And you know what? They know they're in trouble, which is why we got this tweet here from G4. What? G4's evolving? Here come the patch notes. The patch notes, they call it. Here comes the roadmap to try and save this train wreck, is what that means. Let's take a look. G4 channel updates for March 2022. We're here with the next evolution. We're listening to you. I don't think you are listening to us. Uh, I think every time you tweet anything... You go, we love gamers. And then people go, do you love Republican gamers? Because your host, Adam Sessler, thinks we're all supposed to die. Uh, <laughs> it's not good branding, this whole channel. All right, we're all in this together. We relaunched with a try-and-see approach to putting awesome content everywhere you want. Well, uh, so they're throwing everything against the wall and seeing what sticks. Nothing is sticking. They have nothing you can point at and say that it's working. This is this is a mishmash of nonsense. We saw how wild everyone went when we brought Scott the Waz to G4. Now, I missed out on that, but uh, again, yeah, that makes sense. Scott the Waz is an incredibly popular creator with how many of his own followers? He's like one of the top, uh, he's one of the top gaming creators in the space. 1.64 million subscribers. Well, congratulations, G4. You figured out that if you hire the most popular guy, you get free views. 
I could have told you that. I mean, I can only imagine what you're paying this guy. 1.6. Scott is uh, probably makes a million dollars a year from these videos, uh, the amount of views he gets on them. So I can only imagine what he agreed to, to come work for G4. But sure, if you throw a lot of money at, at the top entertainers, uh, you'll be successful. What a, what, a, what a solution you've come up with. We're also saying, and this is probably the most uh, important piece here, we're saying TTFN, I believe that is, ta-ta for now to the beloved Boosted. Well, I don't think it's beloved. I think that's why you're getting rid of it. And welcoming even more esports content to the G4 Esports channel. Well, this Boosted show, this is very interesting. So let's take a look real quick. So they're moving esports content to this channel with 25,000 subscribers. What are these people doing? Uh, is this a brand new channel? 25,000. Again, this is a organization with million. No, they've been uploading this channel for for a whole year, and they only have twenty five thousand subscribers. There's little dorky morons talking about esports with more subscribers than that. But it's this boosted show I want to talk about, and this is this is the ultimate example of why these guys have no idea what they're doing. They have no idea how to make content. Okay, G 4s new show. This is from La uh, wait. This is only from November. <laughs> they gave up on the show after like. Three, four months after this bit. Oh, my God. Boosted is supposed to showcase esports through a comedic lens. And first of all, I mean, everything about this is cringe. This lady, they're talking about, you know, do you love G4? And she's like, no, I was too young. I never watched it. Well, then just don't don't even answer the question. Sounds ridiculous. Uh, but they're doing this Boosted show, which they say is like SNL weekend update but with esports i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give you something right now i'm gonna give you something <laughs> god what are you talking about that is a terrible concept for a show I, like it is insulting to me as a comedian that you think you can just get you and your goofy friends together and make weekend update one of the most legendary pieces of comedy ever created uh, was originally created by Chevy Chase, SNL writer, Herb Sargent. Like, this is a legendary show. Who was working on it with Norm? Norm was, uh, let's see here, Al Franken was helping him write it. All of these legendary comedians. And you want to say, well, we know a lot about esports. We're kind of goofy and fun. So we're just going to make our own weekend update. Here we go. Here's the quote. I think we were heavily inspired by Weekend Update. That's where things like the Cole Reed comes from. And it's more about encapsulating the culture on esports. We speak in internet memes. Our lingo is changing all the time, Frost Crew. You are not a comedian, Frost. You're not funny. I've said this already. You're like a terrible presenter. You are shrill and annoying. So the idea that you go, well, I've watched SNL Weekend Update. And I'm going to create my own about esports, which is already a tear. I mean, let's talk about people who have failed to make follow-ups to Weekend Update. Norm MacDonald, again, one of the greatest comedians of all time, tried to do the uh, tried to do the Weekend Update format for a sports show. And you know what happened? It failed. If Norm MacDonald can't do it, you can't do it. Okay? <laughs> it's like, there's, there's nothing there. Who wants to watch a Weekend Update about, about esports? Now, Frosk has reacted to this news. I don't think she's very happy that they have canceled her little comedy show. She says the team behind Boosted are all exceptionally honorable and talented. That's the greatest compliment I can really give. Notice she doesn't say they're funny. We're going to take a look at this show. It's not good. I have what I consider normal, exceptionally low threshold for BS for abusive work conditions, egos, and bigotry. The industry is rife with promoting predators. Thankfully, everyone in our esports team is just respectable industry professionals. Again, you're telling me you made a comedy show, and the best part about it was everyone was really nice to each other? Wow, that's that's great comedy. Guys being really respectful to each other. No, comedy's about busting balls, about saying the wrong thing, about pushing politically correct norms, not being honorable. Uh, here's here's one of the guys who's on this show and let's hear what he has to say about this situation this guy's name is golden boy again i've tried to watch these shows all of these people to me are talentless i find them uh, 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 boring this man is boring beyond belief he's not a comedic talent i'll tell you that 
Hey everybody, GB here. Just wanted to put out a quick video real fast talking about the news regarding Boosted being sunsetted. I know it may come as a surprise to a lot of you. No. Because, you know, honestly, it kind of just came out of the blue. But uh, the team is actually very excited about where we go from here. Uh, Boosted was oh, an incredibly they're, challenging they're show to make each and every week. Yeah, because uh, it's a terrible idea. Our team was idea. very capable and worked incredibly hard and diligently to produce make this crap. show every single week and make, <laughs> make it fun garbage. and entertaining yeah uh so firstly i want to give a huge huge shout out to our team behind the scenes all right so this is just a lot of hand holding and we love you and uh we we tried our best to make great comedy and the most views we ever got on a stream boosted let's see six thousand views was the most views you ever got on this comedy program that you were apparently sinking your your life into this was their flagship esports program, it sounds like. This was Frost's big project. We're going to give you esports comedy, man. And who's not going to... All right, let's watch. I, we're going to watch. I feel like I've been, been cock-teasing you guys without actually watching the show. I tried to watch some clips, and there is nothing here. Again, I think these people are talentless. Hire some comedians. Yes, Scott the Waz is kind of funny. You guys are just like... You could have pulled anybody off the street and they would have done a better job than these dorks. Let's go. Oh, welcome to Boosted. Woo! Woo! <laughs> 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 what? High five. <laughs> Hello and welcome to our very... This is already terrible. This is already the most awkward... <sighs> The, all right, just, I'm gonna try to watch. Just go. First boosted cold read. I'm Frosk and this is Avali May. And we're here to give you the esports news by reading whatever the writer puts in our prompter. Now, just a reminder that we've never seen any of this before and could have to say anything. Even these lines from act one, scene two of Shakespeare's play, The Tempest. Full famous five, thy father lies, of his bones are coral made. Those are pearls. I'm going to jump off a bridge. This is not funny. This isn't this is not funny. Okay, so the so the gimmick is that they're reading they're they're reading off a teleprompter that they haven't seen before, so they have to read whatever's on the teleprompter. And remember, she talked about this bit. She said, "We got this idea from uh from SNL." Uh, this is, She's proud of this bit. This is theater kids, man. This is just, you took a bunch of high school theater kids and you put them in a room and they all thought they were really funny, but none of them are. Let's keep going. That for his eyes, nothing of him that doth fade, but doth suffer a sea. Change into something rich and strange. Whoa. Sea nymphs hourly Ooh. ring his kneel. Oh, get a girl. Now I hear the ding dong bell. Get a girl, get a girl. And they just clap. What is the I really thing? like the part about the nymphs and the ding-dongs. It's not that kind of ding-dong. <laughs> but this isn't a show about, oh, nice. But this isn't a show about nymphs or ding-dong. It's about esports. And our top news story today is so endemic to the scene that it would be wrong to talk about gaming and esports without bringing it up. What is it? Our writer isn't going to tell me. He's just going to leave a break in the script and let us try to guess exactly what he's talking about. It's definitely Reggie it's, slowing down. Oh my God, it's, it's so Reggie. Reggie. It's so Reggie. He lost Bjergsen, he lost Lena. Who is watching this? Because now, let's be clear, we have got, if you're making a show, the show should be accessible even to me as a casual, okay? So first of all, you're not funny, it's not interesting. But on a second thing, this is an esports show. Well, most people are not terribly familiar with most esports teams and personalities. So these two women immediately start ranting, it's got to be Reggie. It's got to be Reggie. I don't know what that means. I, I don't follow esports. You're making a show for the most niche possible audience. And, and if you, this, that's the problem. This, who is this show for? People who are hyper tapped into esports and they want to watch two obnoxious women make little jokes about it. Where is this going? Oh, who it's else sexual is harassment! Yeah! Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Never mind. I do. We were close. Now, the tale doth take lodging in Activision Blizzard. Withered. Oh, okay, that's enough of the Shakespeare shit. I did not do well in my high school English cl <coughs> classes. Not at all. <clears throat> 
The story takes place at Activision Blizzard, where it was alleged that Bobby Cockdick, sorry, Bobby Coddick, <laughs> Bobby Coddick. That's an easy mistake to make. It yeah, honestly yeah, yeah, feels yeah, yeah. like the same. There uh, is no, uh, whatever. Codd These people have no comedic timing. There's no point in watching this. Uh, this is a nightmare. What, what, I'm, yeah, your show is canceled. You people are not comedians. You know what I hate? I hate people who aren't comedians trying to do comedy. Just going, oh, it's so easy. I'm funny. I make jokes all the time at work and everyone laughs. And and they've given these people money to do this. These two unfunny, uncharismatic women who I, I who I, I don't know who enjoys this. Top comment, this is excruciating pre please stop uh, with eight likes. I think that is the most liked comment. Uh guys. This is awful. G4, I know, I, I live in California. I know where G4's offices is. I even know people who are working at G4. Uh, they don't want to talk to me. I understand it. <laughs> the pe people working at G4 who I know, let's just say we're not on the best of terms. But I want to go to these people and go, guys, you can't just hire anyone. Okay? TV shows require a thing called talent if you're making a comedy show la is full of comedians la is full of comedians who probably know a lot about gaming if not esports i'm sure they're out there i'm sure there is a very talented comedian who knows about esports but it kind of feels like you just were like well let's be i don't know i hate to go down that line but it seems like you're like well isn't it better if we're just progressive and we hire two girls who know a lot about esports no, because they're not funny or interesting. If they were funny, yes. I know I know some female gamers who would probably be great at this, but these two ladies, oh my god, what is the show? I'm gonna give it one more I'm gonna give it one more chance. Let's see. They're talking about st streamlabs. What do they have to say? Now yeah. there is a little to unpack with this story, so bear with us while we lay these stunts out. Now Streamlabs is a streaming software company used by content creators on platforms Twitch and YouTube. It's yeah. n it's not a free software that does the same. Oh, it's not the free software. Forget it. Just forget it. These people can't even read a fucking teleprompter. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. They're stumbling over their words. They can't read a teleprompter. They have no comedic timing. They have no chemistry. Burn this channel to the ground. G4 is done. This is the talent that you've brought in. You just sat these women down. And you're like, whatever. It doesn't really matter. It's an internet show. No, you, this is a TV station. Take it seriously. Find some talent. This is ridiculous. What is, I'm like actually mad at how bad this is. I'm mad because I've been working in comedy my whole life and no one has ever come to me and said, you want to be on TV? And then you go and you find two ladies who are not funny or interesting and immediately give them a salary in a TV show so they can rant at their audience about feminism. What is happening in this world? What has happened to television? What has happened to entertainment? This is terrible. Anyway, guys, let me... I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I played those clips. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm honestly embarrassed to have watched that, to have seen that. Um, thank God they canceled it. But I can only imagine what nightmare they're they're working on now. All of these people are talentless. Uh, like, this is just awful. There's, there's no stage presence. Listen to me ranting at you. Isn't this fun? Like, I'm a guy who can, can form a full sentence. Yes, maybe I'll stumble over my words, but at least I keep the conversation moving. I keep it... I don't go... The thing about this is... Oh, I mean that... Oh, geez, I got that wrong. This is nonsense. This is crazy. But let me know in the comments what do you think. Is G4 doomed? It's doomed. You know it's doomed. How long does it have? Tell me. Three months, six months, one year. When does this stupid burning Zeppelin finally crash into the ground and kill all these morons trapped inside? This is abysmal. Frost, when are we doing the interview? Let me know. Let's talk about this because uh, you are terrible at your job and, and I want to talk about it. I, I, you, you are, you have no talent. You're killing me. Have fun.